Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see some of the important features of the if function in Microsoft Excel. Now we have already done a video about the if function in Microsoft Excel and today we are going to focus on some of the features of this if function. And in this, we are going to discuss about the nested if function, the and function and the if error function. Now, all these three functions have an important feature of their own and I will also be discussing that why are they used and what is their importance over the traditional if function. Now, uh, we already know the usage of the if function which is used to evaluate a condition and if it evaluates a true, then it follows some steps or procedures and if it evaluates to be false, then some other procedures are followed. So that is the basic usage of the if function. And an extension of the if function is a nested if function. Now a simple definition of a nested if function is a function or an if function inside of another if function. So this is an example that I have taken over here. First of all, I have taken an if function that is comparing the value of num1 and it checks that whether num1 is greater than 100 and if it evaluates to be true, then there is another if function. So this inside if function is a nested if function because it is present within some other if function. So if this uh, value evaluates to be true, suppose in num1 we have something called 120, then this condition would be true because it is more than 100, then it would check that if this value of uh, num1 is greater than the value of num2 which is if we take 30, so yes, 120 is greater than 30. So in that case, the output would be yes. And if it is not possible, so suppose uh, instead of um, one, uh, we have 130 as a value of num2, so num1 would not be greater than num2 and the output would be no. But if we have a value of num1 less than 100 if we have suppose the value of num1 as 30 then in that case this first condition would not be true and this nested if function would not be executed and only the else part would be executed giving the output as never so that is the usage of this nested if function and uh, this is what we are going to see over here in this result one, we have uh, written the syntax over here. So I'm just going to clear its contents and show you the syntax once again. So just select the cells uh, and right click and go to clear contents. So here we have the values of num1 and num2. So what we're going to do is apply a nested if function. So a simple procedure for it is just put an equal sign, use an if function, open the parenthesis. And first of all, we are going to use this bigger if function or the outer if function, you can just say it, which is comparing the value of the first number with 100. So we are going to check it as num1 is greater than 100. In that case, if the condition evaluates to true, so we just put a comma. And if the condition evaluates to true, we do not want any value. We want another if function to be executed. So in that case, we are again going to write another if function. Just open the parenthesis. Here we are going to check the value of num1 again. If it is greater than the value of the second number, that is uh, the contents of the cell D4, then close the parenthesis. So this is a nested if function. And if it evaluates to be true, then we want the output as yes. So we just put a comma within double quotes, write yes. Again, put a comma that is if this condition that is num1 is greater than num2 evaluates to be false, then we want the output as no. So within the double quotes, write in o oh no, close the double quotes. Then we just put a comma once again uh, so that we can get over to here and then write in the word never and close the parenthesis. Okay, so this is a kind of an error over here. For this, what we can do is just put it in a parenthesis 
and then put a comma over here all right so we had just put in the comma after d4 uh, af we had put in a parenthesis after d4 which was not required so this is the syntax and press enter so you will get the output as never because number one is greater than is not greater than 100 it is actually 100 so the first condition is false and the output is never we can just expand it to the rest of the cells and this is what the output we have got now first of all uh, we are just going to look again at the syntax first of all there is an if function the logical test is c4 is greater than 100 then put a comma then again instead of the if uh, the value the true value we want another function which is an if function itself then we are going to compare whether c4 is greater than d4 and if this condition evaluates to be true then we want the output as yes otherwise we want the output as no and then we just close this if function so th this whole part is actually when the condition evaluates to be true then we just put a comma and this never is executed if the value of num1 is not greater than 100 so this is our whole function now uh, here we are going to use uh, the um, and function now what is the usage of this and function and function evaluates to be true only if both of these conditions are true uh, it accepts two conditions and if both the conditions evaluate to be true then it gives the output as true otherwise it gives the output as false so we can just clear the contents over here and provide it with an and function so for that put an equal sign and simply write in the word and then open the parenthesis and here we are going to uh, give two conditions to it so first of all we are going to give it if num1 is greater than 100 and the second condition is if num2 is greater than say 50 so these are the two conditions if first number is greater than 100 and the second number is greater than 50 then only the output would be given as true so we just close the parenthesis and put enter so this is what it has given that it is false because num1 was not greater than 100 num1 is exactly equals to 100 so that is why this first condition is false and that is why we have got the result as false now if we just uh, expand it to the rest of the cells then here we have got the output as true so here this is greater than 1 and this value is greater than 50 that is why we have got the result as true here this uh, second number is not greater than 50 and that is why we have got the result as false and in this case over here 70 is not greater than 100 and as well as 38 is also not greater than 50 so that is why both the conditions are false and that is why we have got the result as false so this is the working of the AND condition and it can be used very easily whenever we are trying to compare two conditions or even more than two conditions as well. So that is the usage of the AND function. Then we have another function that is known as the IF ERROR function. So if we just put a control C over here. So here we had some error. And what is this error? Uh, is that um, this is an error over here but what if we just evaluate it under an if function and we do not want this error message to be displayed and instead of the error message we want something else to be displayed so what can we do so for that purpose we have another function with us that is known as the if error function how can we use it first of all I'm just going to clear the contents then here I'm going to evaluate this result to option and check this uh, with the if error function and if any error is found then I'm going to uh, show an appropriate message instead of the error itself and why are we doing this because uh, there are many a times when the data you have presented uh, get some error in calculation or the data is not present but if you uh, just show that erroneous data to somebody else 
it would give a bad impression so uh, instead of showing the arrows you show something else the perfect example of this is an error 404 page present in the different websites so instead of showing the backend errors that are sh uh, being thrown by the system they just show an error 404 page um, to attract the users to just show, uh, tell them that there is some kind of error so this is the similar usage of the if error function how can we use it just put an equal sign uh, type in the word if error all right then open the parenthesis then it acts for a value so just provide it with a value that is the contents of the cell f4 then put a comma and what is it concerned with is that what is the value it has to show if an error occurs so if the error occurs what we, uh, the value we want to show is just put it in a double quotes and this time i'm going to write and skip then just close the double quotes and close the parenthesis and press enter so instead of a uh, skip what it shows here is no because there was no error so the if error function was executed but uh, the result skip was not shown because there was no error in this column that is the f4 column now if we just extend it to all them then only in the last cell since the error was present so the result that we got in the last cell is the skip that means it is uh, shown to us that okay we know that uh, skip means an error but the other person who's showing the who is viewing the database does not know about it and he thinks that okay maybe skip is something else now if you want to show data to someone you can just right click on this column and hide it so the error that was uh, present over there is not shown and only this skip thing is shown which uh, adds some credibility to your database and that is all in today's microsoft excel tutorials video i hope you all have enjoyed it for more such tutorials keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge till then goodbye